Hiya Duck, we're back and I've got Cheryl in today and also a random dog, um, I don't know the name of that dog, but yeah. <laughs> oh he's gone now, oh she. Um, we're going to do a much requested nail design, because loads of people have asked me to do it. Now I've begrudged doing it, but Cheryl's come in today and asked me to do it and after a lot of messing about nearly swore then, um, I'm going to do it because it's this is easy to do on a flat nail but I don't do flat nails we do well structured nails and that's what we're going to do so we've we've slightly adjusted it but we're going to do Aurora nails So, I've already got the tips on and everything like that. We're just going to prime now. And hopefully, it won't drive me around the bend, this design. <laughs> the thing is, for this design, you need to create some thickness and height. So when I've seen this done on natural nails, you have to make them really thick to get the desired effect. Now. We don't want to make them really thick. So I've adjusted it slightly. So we still get the same effect and they're not too thick. So first of all, we're going to lay down some acrylic and I'm using the Nail Gargar acrylic today. It is going to be a mixture of acrylic and gel. So the main focus of this application is to create flat sides and a flat top, kind of like you would do a cube nail. And this is going to give us a nice even surface to create the Aurora effect. So you can see I'm, I'm not applying it like I would normally because I'm keeping everything flat, flat and then flat at the top. There doesn't need to be a massive amount of acrylic on. It will give it strength, but we want to try and get this nice flat top and flat sides. And we've used a tapered square or a coffin or ballerina style tip, reshaped that on the nail. We have got videos just on that and I'm sure that Jay and Emma or Adam will link that in the description. Also in the description will be products I've used, any discount codes that we have for you so you can save some pennies. There needs to be enough acrylic on the nail so we can file them. So it needs to be a thin application but enough to be able to file. So that's why I'm kind of doing it in thin beads that I can really mould. So can you see that flat section through the middle and we've got flat sections at the side. So instead of building it on top, because the Aurora effect's normally built on top of an acrylic extension or a natural nail, that's not what I wanted to do because of the thickness. I want to use the thickness of the structure to create the effect rather than having like a really thick, high nail. We don't want that. No one likes thick nails, do they, Cheryl? No. So I'm just using that stock end of the brush to create that flat section and again down the sides.
So while that's there, what I'm going to do is you can leave that there for a sec before we file that. And I'm going to use the angel paper from Nail Kami. And you can see I might have had this out of the box already. The only thing I hate about this box is as soon as you get them out, they just want to escape all the time. And I can never get them back in the box. <laughs> so I'm like, can I get them in? It's this, it's this one we use, isn't it? Yeah. Is it? Or is it this one? No, it's that one. Is it? Yeah, it's that one. The thing is with this design as well, when you use your angel paper, so you see if you manhandle you, <laughs> your angel paper, you get little creases in it. You've got to make sure you use angel paper that has no creases in it. It's really important. So, right, so you've got your angel paper and what we want to do is we want to be able to measure how long, roughly how long we want this to be. So if I cut this here, And I'm going to do this, the other one pretty much the same. We've got a random rogue bit there that's just trying to get him into the party. And then what we're going to do, get better scissors than these to be honest. My good scissors are in my little home studio. I'm going to cut a V. long nails on they said it'll be fun it'll be easy have not what? long nails i'm not used to having long those nails aren't on. long they for, for me i know they're not that long but yeah I, i'm struggling oh yeah i'm struggling then i'm gonna cut straight they're great for when you're cooking the long nails you don't have to use tongs no, yeah. just use nails, great. Uh, yeah, you can just flip the bacon. Honest, right. oh, it's brilliant, Joe. Yeah. Do you want me to make you some? <laughs> <laughs> They're not good for babies, though, Jay. I don't really think so. So that is going to sit there. We might trim it, but we'll, that's what we're working with for now. So we can do the same on the other one. And we. We need to save these pieces, these side pieces. We're going to save them as well because we will need those. Now, I know you can buy just like strips already cut, but the shape is like a, it's like an oval, isn't it? It's like both a, ends. Yeah, oval both ends. and They look stiffer. They look a little bit stiffer, but like thicker. However, the shape wouldn't work for this design, so I would still have to cut them. But yeah, so angel paper, you can cut that into any shape you want to. So the bits that we haven't used, so these side bits, we are going to cut. I'm going to cut that bit off, it's a little bit wrinkly, and I want a straight edge. And then we're going to go up at an angle, 45 degree angle. And then we're going to come down like this. Oh, look at that, just stayed on that bit, did just bit, do me add in a bit more. Oh, went up. <laughs> Goodbye. So, what? Uh, I don't know what kind of shape you would call that, but it's... Like a shard, isn't it? It's a shard, yeah. You can do a many shape, really, but I just kind of mm. like that shape. I think it works with the design. It's obviously a triangle, by the way. All right, it's got three sides, it's a triangle. <laughs> mm. Jay knows everything. I know nothing. It's like the shard building. It's like the shard building, yeah. Okay. Forty-five degree angle. These are never going to be the same size. And right now, I don't really care. Because. It's too some jiggery pokery to work this out to do it I don't the think way. They have to be exactly the same, do they? No, they don't. No, and they aren't going to be. <laughs> Not today, dear. Not today. Right. 
Because originally I did cut a different shape there, in there. I don't know if you can see him. Oh, you can there. Yeah. So that's, that's what I cut, that shape. But I said no, not doing that. <laughs> that's like a rectangle. With the Octo corners. Octagon. Yeah. Is it an octangle? Is that no, it's not. is that even a thing? <laughs> no. Jay, is it's that not. a thing? It's not, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've got them. What I'm gonna do is I am gonna cover them. Oh, yeah. So they don't get dust on. Because I'm gonna file now. Yeah, we're all good to file. So this is what we need to do. We need a flat top. Can you remember back in like the eighties where Having a flat top hairdo was a thing. My dad used to have a flat top. So we want a flat top, we want to blend the cuticle. It's important to get this layer, because it is going to be a layered effect, to get this layer nice and smooth. We've got these nice flat sides. Then you will need to buff because we want it smooth. If you're not using tips, you could sculpt out a clear, thin, clear layer. If, you're, if you want to sculpt. So can you see the shape? Yeah. And don't look at these, they're not finished. Okay, they're not finished, so don't look at them. Just look at the ones I'm doing. Okay, thank you. <laughs> now everybody's looking at them. Um, so we can do the same with this one. Right, so we clean over so there's no dust. That is important. And then we're gonna top coat them and bet you're thinking, what the hell are you doing? Yep, we're going to top coat them because the next part of this design. This is a no wipe. Yes, it is. Thank you. So it's a no wipe top coat. That is important. In the lamp. So it's 15 second cure and then what will happen is your chrome will adhere to better, the top yeah. coat a lot better. Do you find it doesn't chip as much and things like that, Cheryl? Yeah. If you full cure it, you'll be rubbing it in and you're like, why is it not sticking? Mm -hmm. So we've got Double Trouble and Two of a Kind. They are chrome powders from the Sente. They are both slightly different. One's got like a bu a bu Put my teeth back in. One's got a blue hue, one's got a gold hue, and I think that looks nice with the angel paper that we've chosen today. So we're gonna do a bit of both. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Into the other one. So the one with the blue hue is two of a kind, the one with the gold hue is double trouble. I think that was named after me and you. Especially today. Especially today, yeah. I'm just going to burnish that in with my finger and it'll just make it super shiny. Now we can really see the shape. Now we tried this with silver and it looked awful. I filed it all off and started again because I hated it that much. So yeah, don't use silver, it looks rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> so you can give that another cure just to Quite sure it's embed it. Mm. So next stage, you'll need a hard gel, 
Today we are going to use Nail Perfect Fibre Gel. It could be fibre gel, it could just be, a, you know, hard gel. Any hard gel, do you think? Like a medium viscosity? Mm. Yeah. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take those shards. Not that one. We're going to dip it into the gel. Place it on, the excess will squeeze out, which will seal the edges. Position where you want it. You could just put it in like that, but I get a little bit OCD and feel like I want to just like, you know, make sure those edges are sealed and get my brush around there and just sort of tidy it so it's not so bulky. And then I can spread a little bit of gel on the sides and I find the sides I want them to sit a bit lower whereas this sits a bit high can you see how it's sitting on top of the gel mm -hmm. yeah you can see it's sitting on top of a layer of gel whereas the sides I don't really do that as much because I don't want it to look bulky we don't like the bulk I'm going to get the little shard and I'm going to place it onto that gel that we've painted thinly and just make sure it's connected nicely. Once you're happy with your shards, we can then go into the lamp. Now I made that look easy but it took a bit of time to work all this out so yeah I was a little bit stressed. Shall we say that? A little bit stressed. <sighs> but I'm happy now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to appear to be happy. It did stress me out. And do the other one there. Yeah. That's locked. So same again. Get your little piece and I like to say it doesn't have to be this shape. It doesn't you know it can be a different shape. It depends on the shape of the nail, I suppose. Press, 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 lightly press, and you'll see the gel disperse. I'm just going to pull that down a little bit. And then the OCD comes in. Be gentle as you do it because it will move. And then we're going to do exactly the same as we did before. So like a little sort of slip layer of gel. Get your shards. And in the lamp. I'm sorry, but the neck fans had to come out. We've got a scorcher again. We need aircon. What we need to do to get this aurora effect, because at the minute we haven't really got an aurora effect. We've got like, yeah, it shines and stuff, but it's not quite the aurora effect. I am going to put a slip layer on. And this will encase the chrome as well so make sure you cover the chrome because anywhere you do not put this thin layer of gel your chrome will come off and anywhere you put the gel now with this little thin layer when you pick up your big bead of gel you can float 
onto it and it'll just follow where you've already put the thin layer of gel. We get a new bead, make sure you reconnect. I'm going to swing side to side. That will stretch the gel all the way to the end. So this is not just encasing, this is giving you structure as well. Turn it over for me. So because gel will fall with gravity, if you want a higher apex, or you think that that section in the middle, because that section that's going over that sort of teardroppy shape needs to be thicker. So it needs to have some height. So if you turn your finger over, you can create that height. Pop that in the lamp. And it's going to burn like a <laughs> Is it all right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It has got that, you've got that thin layer of acrylic underneath so it should, you know, not burn as much. But okay. Yeah, it's burning now. Yeah. So you can put it on the 99 seconds setting, the low setting in the lamp. But she hasn't. We just thought we'd just whack it straight in. Because that's what Cheryl does to all her nail gel clients, don't you, Doc? Yeah. I ain't got time for that, have you? No. <laughs> Wait till I do yours. Right. Oh. What I am going to do now <laughs> is like I'm just going to put a thin layer over the top just so I know it's all seamless. It's all joined together. Right here, I need it a little bit. In you go. So we're going to repeat this. And a thin layer. Let's cleanse. So we're removing that sticky layer. Sorry, I felt it underneath there. So you could, I mean, already, they've already got, you know, a bit of an aurora kind of shifting effect but they're not completely shiny they're like a satin finish aren't they mm. um so we're going to file these and we're going to file them all it's important to make sure you keep the shape nice you can round off the top a little bit but don't go too crazy now this gel is super hard to file and when I say hard I don't mean difficult it's a hard gel it's really hard because it's a fiber gel so for this effect we've created the thickness with the structure of the nail so that's how it differs from your usual aurora look so we've used the thickness of the actual structure to create the effect rather than piling it on top of the nail and obviously we've changed the shape the reason that we've kept the top flat with the acrylic is because we want the angel paper to remain flat. 
Now, if you put it straight on top of a round nail, it's gonna, it's gonna curve because it's gonna want to go to the curve of the nail and we want it to be flat so you get that reflective effect. So you've got like a single pet like plane. Yeah. And the light to hit all at once. Yes, so the light's hitting the one flat surface, correct. Now, we tried it in acrylic. I mean, encapsulating in acrylic and it just didn't look nowhere near as good. So that's why we've used a combination of the gel and acrylic. The acrylic gave the support and allowed me to sculpt that platform, but the gel gave us the clarity. So I'm not saying it can't be done. I just didn't like it as much. It wasn't quite as clear. So let's give them a buff. Gonna let you wash them though for now get rid of all that dust so we're gonna bling them up so we've got um some crystals from nail Chemie. we've got some crystals in here from moon flare and then i've also got these which are from email couture and i like these because they're just because they've got a white back in they're a little bit different and i think they'll really go with the, the angel paper you know what i mean Mixed with the AB as well. Oh, she's inspecting them. Oh dear. Yeah, they're, they're okay. Okay. Right, so we want crystal to talis to adhere the crystals. Make sure you get enough of the gem gel on there. Don't knock over your crystal totalis into your crystals because, yeah, that's going to happen. I mean, it's very attractive. It's very blinged out. <gasps> oh. Mm. Looking for the tiny ones. Mm -hmm. They're all in that kitchen roll. <laughs> Tony Grip, the little one. I think you are. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They even look nice with a satin finish, don't I they? I know, yeah. What do you reckon, guys? Satin or glossy? Comment below. Yeah, satin, <laughs> satin or glossy. Isn't it? I don't know. The oh, satin is. It is it, the satin is. Isn't it, Jay? They both look as good as each other, really. Oh. 
It's all right, you can offend Kirsty. Ooh. It's, it's, it's gloss. The satin. I think. The satin is nice, but I think the it's gloss is different just... as well, the satin. No, we're doing a Bora Nails. Go on, I'll let you tell Kate then. It's only because I want to go. <laughs> yeah, the thing with the matte nails, they do get quite dirt sticks to them, don't it? Do you know what I mean? They do get a bit. But now we've got like the um, top coat on. Yeah, put me that in. It's the light can penetrate through the layers of the gel and hit the angel paper and create that aurora nail. Do you mm. know what I mean? It's just. If I had them on my nails, I'd just be like, I don't want time. Do you know what I mean? Imagine them in the sun. Oh, in Dubai, look, you're going to look the bees, Nick. Let's go ahead and pull. Bring it home. Uh-uh. Cole. <laughs> yeah, you'll be uh, shouting for your drinks. Still. Yeah. In they go. Yeah, they look amazing. I swore. Sorry. Would that be beat up? Oh, that beat me out, Jay. They look that good. Yeah, they're all right. They're all right. They've worked out, haven't they? Oh my God. It's been a very stressful day. Day. Um, I was losing faith, to tell you the truth. <laughs> like, what the <laughs> going I on I thought I was going to have to do a fay. <laughs> hundred times worse. Oh but dear. I'm loving them. You're loving them. You always come through in the end. <laughs> oh, it's just... Hours later. Oh, God. Hours later. I've only been here since yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Luke, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, he definitely needed a top coat. Look at them. I don't know, but the satin was... I'm feeling oh, it. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Luke, I need to get the light properly. Oh. Sorry. Let me... What, what do you want? I want the... Do you know what I mean? That is so nice. Like, we've taken the Aurora nails to another level. Oh, them. Yeah, they look better than that video, innit? Oh, my God. <sighs> what are you doing? I'm just making sure I'm just, just watch the crystals. I know. Don't loosen them crystals, Fab, or else I'll be up. I know where you live. <laughs> She's right. Thursday. <gasps> that was a crystal. Oh. <gasps> right, I'm going to put some oil on. And then we're done. Oh, look at them. <laughs> oh my God, I did that. I did that. I oh my it. God. Mine. I helped. You helped. I helped. You helped, yes. I helped with the stress level, if anything. You definitely yeah. helped with the stress level. We're good, aren't we? Yeah, we're a good team. High five. Yeah, high five. <laughs> <laughs> so there you are, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you love these Aurora nails, please give us a thumbs up and a lovely comment. Subscribe to our channel and I'll see you in the next one. ta -da, duck! So I'm now going to try and get this back in the box. You only roll it around your finger. And then just... Like this. Yeah, but you're folding it, you know. I, think. I know, but I'm trying to do it quick. Have <laughs> you got any patience? Um, patience? No. 
No. Look, and then I'm trying to get up. <laughs> it doesn't work in this seat, does it? I think you've done it too tight. <gasps> right, okay. okay. And then screw it together. Oh, it's not small enough. Well, well, let me try to get <laughs> Look, I can't get it back, it won't fit in. Oh, for God's sakes. That's it, right, okay, I've squidged it, but it's more in the box. Stay there. Yay! Hey, that one's game over for that one. Right, so let's have a go at him twirling this again. Out concentration there. I know the tongue was out and everything. This is yeah, yeah. Put the angel yeah. back in the box. Look at that. <laughs> it is. It is. It is. That's the tutorial, Jay. <laughs>